Hey guys, this is Dr. Sangeeta and welcome back to another lecture of Dental Patshala where we help you understand and learn dentistry better and easy way and today's topic we are going to cover while the development of the teeth take place. So before the eruption, while the teeth is still developing. So whatever the disease which is associated because of the developmental defects. So if there is any abnormality in the development because of that, if what it can cause. So we'll be studying, of course, the reason also and the disease and its features as well. So today's video, we are going to cover the developmental defects or anomalies which are associated with the teeth. So without further ado, let's get started. before we get started make sure you subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our future videos so to understand the developmental disturbances we should know about the tooth development and what stage it is causing the problem right so first one we have we have bud stage cap stage bell stage before that before the bud stage is the initiation stage from where the tooth development starts or initiates right so it starts at the sixth week at the sixth week intrauterine life in the womb, now there is an outer epithelium. This outer epithelium, it starts, it starts thickening. There is a thickening of the outer or we can say oral epithelium or the ectoderm we can say. So this thickening is known as the dental lamina. Now the first evidence of the tooth bud is seen at the initiation stage if it is asked for the NEET exam. At the 6th week intrauterine life. Now what happens at the 8th week? At the 8th week this thickening now makes and forms a bud. Right. So a bud or we can say a nodule is formed. This dental lamina it grows. See this is the ectoderm. Then below we have the mesoderm. So this is the mesoderm right. Then at the 8th week intrauterine life. This dental lamina it grows and it invades into the mesenchyme. So these buds which are produced we call it the dental placard. Now it is not dental lamina anymore we call it the dental placard. Now all the primary teeth and the permanent teeth. Permanent molar only permanent molar. We are talking about the primary teeth and the permanent molar are directly uh, arising from the dental lamina. But what about the permanent incisors, canine and premolars? So they are arising from the primary predecessor. That is a secondary bud from the primary bud. So a second small bud comes from the primary bud which forms the permanent incisor, canine, premolars. Otherwise this primary bud forms all of the primary teeth and the permanent molars. Right. So this mesenchyme now it starts condensing beneath. So we have beneath mesenchyme right. So there is a condensation which started. What happens when this dental lamina is not at all formed? Then there will be missing teeth because when there is no dental lamina there is no teeth. So in the congenital missing teeth when there are congenitally missing teeth there is going to be the absence of the dental lamina. What happens when there are multiple teeth buds? When there are multiple dental lamina? Then there will be increase in the number of teeth. So there is going to be the supernumerary teeth. So all the defect in the number are arising at the bud stage. Then next comes our cap stage. Now what happens? Now that it is formed into a cap. Right? So a cap. The outer layer is our outer enamel epithelium. The inner layer is our inner enamel. Okay, I must draw here. Inner enamel epithelium. Right. Now, also as you can see, there are some spikes which are present. Now these are going to be the cusp tip. So they are enamel knots, right? So these are, so we have in the enamel organ, we have outer enamel epithelium, 
inner enamel epithelium and in between the stellate reticulum star shaped right stellate reticulum cells now and below in the mesenchyme we have the dental papilla so this is the dental papilla the condensation mesenchymal condensation so these enamel knots which are going to form the cusp tip are basically the signaling center for the development of the tooth de developing tooth now this dental papilla which is the mesenchymal condensation i'm going to write dp so d for dentine remember and p for pulp remember so this dental papilla is going to give rise to the dentine as well as pulp and dental follicle is the sac which is surrounding it so if there is any abnormality which is related to the joining of the teeth which is related to the fusion gemination basically the shape will be affecting at this stage then next comes the bell stage see majorly it is the bell bell shape bell stage in which all the abnormalities are coming because there is going to be the histo differentiation and the morpho differentiation so let's just talk about this at the 11 week now what happens at the 11 week now this is elongated outer enamel epithelium is elongated inner enamel epithelium is elongated right so like this now what happens there is a differentiation at the 11th week intrauterine life at the 11th week intrauterine life there are going to be see this is the bell stage as it's it seems like the bell so histo differentiation histo differentiation means all the components of a teeth will be histologically differentiated at this stage that means when histologically when we look at the structures so enamel dentine there will be differentiation of the layers of the cells of the tooth so all the layers they are going to divide into distinct cell types that means we are talking about the cell types that means inner enamel epithelium it is going to differentiate into the ameloblast now ameloblast as we know it forms the enamel a melo a enamel so it is pronounced from a if you want to remember so this is enamel is formed from the inner enamel epithelium now what happens from the dental follicle so if we are talking about dental papilla see this is the red color right so dental papilla is going to differentiate into odontoblast odontoblast which is going to form the dentine right and the core cells will form the core cells of the dental papilla will form the central cells will form the pulp because we know dental papilla dp this is not the dp of whatsapp so this is d for dentine p for pulp all right so any defect which is related to the differentiation of the enamel differentiation of the dentine if we are talking about any defect which is related to the ameloblast which is related to the odontoblast like amelogenesis imperfecta like dentinogenesis imperfecta will be at the 11th week in intrauterine life the disto the histo differentiation then also there is a morpho differentiation now morpho differentiation what happens when both of these outer enamel inner enamel meets at this point what do you call this point this point is known as the cervical loop now what happens let me tell you the, this is kind of a apposition we are talking about now apposition at the apposition what happens uh, 14th week so both of these outer and inner enamel epithelium they meet they meet and they form the cervical loop right so when they meet and they elongate they grow down they extend they make the hertwig epithelial root sheath this heart will epithelial root sheath will stimulate these odontoblast because odontoblast are present in the papillary area right dental papilla so they are going to stimulate these odontoblast to secrete the dentine now the dentine which is secreted at this terminal end towards the root is going to be our is a going to be our reticular dentine right which is towards the root area now there the stellate reticulum also will collapse so it will deflate like how we deflate how we 
pinch a needle in the balloon so what happens both of these ends they stick together so like that the outer enamel epithelium in inner enamel epithelium they meet and they form the reduced enamel epithelium this is at the apposition this is at the 14th week we are talking right now so they meet to form the reduced enamel epithelium as you can see from the name the enamel is reduced it protects the teeth and it forms the junctional epithelium which we have studied in the perio lectures right now again coming back to the morpho differentiation there are two things right at the 11th week 14th week we have talked about i'm sorry i could have told you about the morpho differentiation which i remember right now so morpho differentiation what happens there is going to be differentiation of the structure there is going to be differentiation of the shape so basically the shape size of the crown it depends on the morpho differentiation so the peg shape lateral the uh, macrodontia so whatever the anomalies which are related to the size like the microdontia macrodontia according to the shape are due to the changes in the in the morpho differentiation which is occurring at the 11th week now actually what happens in the dental papilla now uh, we have odontoblast actually these odontoblast they secrete the collagen so they secrete this collagen now what happens this collagen which is the uh, main portion principal ingredient of the dentine matrix now this collagen it signals the ameloblast to deposit the amelogenin uh, protein so this protein will uh, lead down to the enamel so this is this protein is basically the matrix of the enamel so actually suppose this is the dentine this is the dentine this is the enamel now this dentine is stimulating this enamel to make the protein amelogenin so this odontoblast which is secreting the collagen so these odontoblast are actually stimulating these ameloblast these ameloblast are going to form enamel a a remember from a then ameloblast are going to form the enamel and these uh, these odontoblast the uh, the cells which are going to make the dentine so they are stimulating these Uh, amylo uh, amyloblast to deposit the amylogenin which is basically the matrix protein of the enamel so next one 14th week we have studied the apposition so apposition what happens there is going to be defect of the enamel hypoplasia like enamel pearls will be present so next one is the maturation now that there is a differentiation happens uh, that is the histo differentiation morpho differentiation now that everything is laid down it just need to get matured right so the next last stage is the maturation stage or we can say the calcification stage or another name can be the mineralization stage so this is this happens 14 weeks onward right this is the longest stage of the tooth de development so all the major anomalies like majority of like uh, you study about the all of the stains see maturation calcification mineralization that means if the tooth is not calcified properly that will be due to this phase because this is the calcification phase so it is going to be enamel hypocalcification if there is mineralization improper then it is going to be the enamel mineralization right so and if there is maturation they also there is the fluorous stains which get entrapped in the enamel at this stage the tetracycline stains which get entrapped in the dentine at this stage so basically this is the stage at which the calcification process begins at the cusp tip remember this at the cusp tip or we can say the incisal edges are the main center from where the calcification starts and it proceeds cervically okay so the calcification starts at the cusp tip or the incisal areas now this calcification process or the maturation process is a long process now it takes for a primary tooth crown for a primary tooth crown it takes 2 years to complete the maturation phase for a permanent tooth crown it takes 4 to 5 years to complete this process this is even more than the root formation if you remember so in the pedo i guess we have covered the root formation so guys primary tooth it takes 2 year to get matured permanent teeth it takes 4 to 5 years to get matured or to get calcified you can see so we have covered all the stages ameloblast forms the enamel which is a part of enamel organ then the we have dental papilla there are going to be formation of d and p dentine and pulp odontoblast will form the dentine 
and central cells will form the pulp then we have the dental follicle which is the sac which is surrounding so that dental follicle will lay down the cementum bone and the pdl so cementum will be formed from the cementoblast so or see always remember blast are the cells which forms clast are the cells which cuts so c for cut c for clast remember this so clast are the cells which will cut so cementoblast will form the cementum odontoblast will form the also bone and fibroblast osteoblast will also form the bone and fibroblast will form the pdl so guys these are all the developmental process this is the tooth development and the eruption process now you know that when there is a genetic factor which is involved during the developmental stage what are the anomalies which happens at which stage when you are writing any disease you have to write at which stage it is occurring and what are the features which are involved and how we can treat it so in the upcoming series in 5 in 5 series we are going to cover all of the defects now we know that how this defect is caused so we will be covering the developmental defect of the teeth in the upcoming 5 and 5 series in that we will cover each disease suppose if we are have we have a video of macro and micro dentia so each and every condition we are going to cover five points in 5 minutes so guys this is about the part one of the developmental defect of the teeth now we know that what is causing it and to understand each and every condition we are going to cover in the upcoming videos i hope that you have enjoyed the video so if you have enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up also you can comment in the comment section below and in the description box below now you have a chance to support me on patreon as well as on paypal to make free videos for you guys and to make free notes so guys till then take care bye bye tata Keep reading keep learning i will see you soon guys